You, you want to hear? Uh, I, I I haven't prepared anything, but I got a couple in my my pocket. Okay. Do you have my ukulele? All right. <laughs> Just whips out a ukulele. Whips it I out. I love live TV. <laughs> All right. Um, 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 this is going to be real quick. Less than a day in comfortable shoes. Running around all over town, whatever we choose. Let's run away, just me and you. All we need is t-shirts and jeans, sunglasses, sunscreen, and comfortable shoes. We can go to work tomorrow. From the live from the Hollywood van is Bill Dawson. <laughs> live awesome. from the set of Roar. <laughs> awesome. That is so cool. Technology is an amazing thing sometimes. Just it is genius. Very cool. How do you like that? Hey, how about we come back to you a little later? Or do you have another one right now? I'll remute it myself. Um, I, I don't, I, I really, like I said, I have nothing planned. Did, did I ever sing my drinking song for you guys? The one where, uh, um, you don't have to leave. You can't stay here. Yeah. I, I think I, I think I have played you that. No, no, that's okay. Play it. Uh, <laughs> I guess. I just guess. I'd rather go with, I'd rather go with something you never heard of it's before. It's still true. <laughs> Well, we've never heard I'll you think... play that song from inside a van, Bill. Yeah, that's inside of a van. Well, okay, that's, that, 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 that may be true. Uh, I think I was on my back porch the last time. No, I, I'd rather up. Have, come up with something that you haven't heard before. And so um, give, me a, give me a minute to think about it. Let it go to Kenny. You can pull up beside some kids and go, hey, want to hear a ukulele song? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Kenny, welcome. Oh, thank you. Welcome to you, too. Thanks for hosting this. I 
suppose in the big scheme of things, I serve some purpose. To clear things up as it were. To frame a new tomorrow. Well, what the heck? Just call me virus, not virtuous. Just call me virus, not virtuous. Well, the edges of my days are uneven. To the point of cutting. Which, uh, which great uncle? Yeah, really. Oh. I don't know. Theoretical. <laughs> I just made it up. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, I like that one. I, nothing I do is autobiographical. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kenny, that, you know, I just want to say, like, one thing, like, I love the intro to the first song that kind of extended, like,
playing before you like dropped into the lyrics. Like that was nice. I like that. Oh, thank you. Those, okay. And also like on the second song, those that like that transition of like those like that little chord riffy thing that you put in there in between like two of the verses. So nice. It was good. I love when you like add those things into your songs. Oh, oh I love well, those. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Your well, shirt thanks, is Kenny. not autobiographical. You know, is mm. that, you just made all that up. It's the autobiography of his doppelganger. His doppelganger. <laughs> doppelkenny. Oh, he dropped out. <laughs> doppelkenny. All right. Well, uh, up next is Gene Burnett. How are you tonight, Gene? I'm doing great, you guys. Thanks for <clears throat> being here. Um, I want to do a little sound check because both of my songs last time uh, just sounded terrible. One was really terrible. One was less terrible. So I couldn't really use them. Um, and, and it wasn't easy on your ears. So I'm hoping to have that have solved this now. So I'm just going to sing for like just a tiny bit here. And then I want to know if it's getting swirly. What do you think of the volume level there? Sounds good. Uh, yeah, it was just about as good as it could be, I think. Okay, yep. not swirly, no nope. swirliness no. and weirdness. No, no. Okay, all right, everybody, feel free to mute up, and I will, uh, I will proceed to sing a little bit. Let me take this down just a tiny bit more. Okay, I'm gonna proceed with a couple more. Um, songs now that we got our sound half decent here. A couple more from last year. This one is called Everywhere I Do Not Go. <clears throat> and it's uh, dedicated to uh, the muse. Thank you. 
I know I cannot bend you to my will In spite of everything I love you still In spite of all my tricks and all my skill I know I cannot bend you to my will Just have to let you go. When I do, that's when you say hello. You're harder to find than anyone I know. here is called Up in the Hills and it's in my favorite key C sharp <laughs> I don't know why We were up in the hills where everything still and the noise of the world's just a whisper. No hustle, no crowd, no look at me now, just the breeze in the trees and I kissed her. Her hand was in mine, I knew it was time, so I looked in her eyes and I kissed her. I thought it would last, but it went by so fast, soon we were home with our blisters. The noise got too loud. We forgot all about the world that we had when I kissed her. that one thank That's you song. thanks very much thank you guys glad we got thanks. the sound thing straightened out oh, a relief that sounded really good good balance good song thanks gene yeah my pleasure nice. thank you poetic romantic oh, we nice. may come around to you again so all right okay so welcome bob crowley anyway marjorie are you ready all right yeah how you been 
fine. Did Bill want to do another song before me or whatever? Or I can start. Uh, no, I, I'm going to hold off until I'm in a different location. Okay. I think All we'll right. have plenty of time later. All right. Okay. Well, uh, the first one's called Computer Door. Um, so here we are. Is there within computer door I need to find? Find me a more my phone device text what's in store in my future is there within a perfect love what they describe is really of are they actually enough In the old days, people grew up together, or at least knew, was that someone, somewhat true? That's it, folks. Okay. Um, and this is uh, some blues. Uh, the cape on. This one is, this open mic has got the best visuals of all the ones we've done so far. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> we got, you know. We got Santa Monica over here, and then we've got all these different environments. This is very cool. Very oh, cool. Bill D is driving. Yeah, he's going to get Nicole Kidman. Second, second job with uh, Google Maps or something. It's your big chance to impress Nicole. Yeah. Hey, you know, <laughs> my, my, my brother used to date her best friend. Uh -huh. Doesn't she live in Australia? <laughs> your brother used to date her best friend. You know who Naomi what? Watts is? Yeah, I've heard of her. Yeah. No. Naomi uh, Watts. The, uh, my brother was dating her before she became super, when she was just... Yeah, barely, she's no, pretty famous. Yeah. Before Mulholland Drive, and then uh, and they broke up. And but he but he did go to Morocco with Nicole and and Tom and wow. and, and Naomi in a private jet. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it's a life, you know. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way here. Just in case there ain't no heaven, better find it here if I can shake them blues. So I'm starting to whistle a tune. New plants are burning, I better learn one soon. If you want a lot of loving, I'll be there with you, ready for to shake them blues. Ready for to shake them. Marjorie, that was great use of modulation. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, Marjorie, I love, wish I could have seen your fingers when you were playing that first song. <laughs> your finger picking is uh, coming along really well. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and so good. I mean, man, and also just like the integration between your playing and your singing has just like getting better and better like every open mic it's really cool to see like because it seems like you've been really working really hard like it's just the uh progress in that those things coming together is amazing and it was oh, nice it you. was nice to see santa monica while you were doing that that was cool thanks for spinning <laughs> the camera around i'm <laughs> sorry i had to turn it around i had someone in the car that you couldn't see oh absolutely totally <laughs> totally cool i like i love seeing what's going on out there that's really excellent i don't travel much you know so i in fact i don't and travel they, at all yeah, no. it's a little travel log. oh well, fun times <laughs> nice set, hey gus it's your turn so yeah, you see is this a guitar sound okay? hey gus for before you can you show us that guitar Real, before you play? This guy? Yeah. What is that? This is a PRS. Marjorie, you're not muted. Oh, sorry. I, um, it's a, a, a semi-acoustic electric. What year, like, range sorry. is that? I think it's about a 2000. 
not too long after they went to Korea to manufacture some. PRS oh yeah, man, there. that's pretty nice. I Those are nice I like guitars. The guitar. It's nice to play. Better than me, so you know it's always a good place. <laughs> is this uh, is that loud enough? Uh, you could turn your volume up on your vocal and your guitar a little bit. All right, hold on. Magic sound sheet. How's that? How's that? Now let's go for it. All right. So um, just play something really quick, so we, we don't have anything to like test it off of. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so this is a tune that I was, um, I had the lyrics for it our last open mic, and I've been working on some some music for it. <coughs> so, you know how that goes. It's, I was changing it today, so, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is called um, Your Lies Are Tearing Us Apart. Everything you want, your only selfish goal. Your lies are tearing us apart. I don't know why I can't get rid of you. Send you back to your castle of hate. Poison me like you poison yourself. Have I wise up a little too late? You see, the world is us or you. There's no lie or trick that you wouldn't try to do. A never ending saga. suspicion and doubt Your lies are tearing us apart I used to carry a torch for you but now it's gone in darkness and despair Every memory dark and fading in suspicion and doubt Money and fame was all you really cared about. Your lies are tearing us apart. Tearing us apart. Tearing us apart. So that's his first. Nice, nice, Gus. I really like the way you uh, 
I mean, just like what we were talking about in the workshop about, you know, like start and heart, you know, like you've heard those rhymed a zillion times. When you said, I don't know where they start. I know. I don't know where they end or why they start. I like why, the why they start. start. It could sure. have been a it could have been a parallel one where you don't know where. You don't know where they end. You don't know where they start. You know, and then it just rhymes with heart, and it's where, where. But but when you I put the Y in, too, when you put good. the Y in there, it freshens it up. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, it was unexpected that way. I like the accompaniment too. <laughs> I, I love like the accompaniment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably turn the guitar up a little bit, Gus. Also. Yeah, I would say yeah, like one notch. Let me see what I can do over here. <clears throat> I mean, don't go Ted Nugent on us, but, you know, yeah. just a little bit. No, please do. That would be cool. <laughs> go full Nuge. <laughs> yeah, I really, I'd have to watch out. I could get that, you know. But... That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, a tune I wrote a while back, and I came back to it because um, I like it and and it's not in uh, A minor. I was going to do another A minor song tonight and I realized oh, it's an A minor song. So this is uh, this is um, East of Binyana. <laughs> Outside pipe dream in spring On a lonesome road Leaving my own Waterloo Looking true love in the mirror Margarita Villa Everything they say about me Probably true I was on my way to somewhere Head down Bullshit Boulevard Hung a left on the easy margin Freeway Paradise Road took me straight to hell I took her family there as well. Let it ride, glide, glide on a lovely shore of the bay. I'm trying to get to Midiana one day at a time. Some days it gets rougher. Think I want to blow my mind. I can see the lights that might have been on Rumination Road, still east of Midiana. Can't let go. in Pollyanna Circle Took her right down Moonlight Lane Left her in a bar at the Heartbreak Inn Motel Headed down Getaway Avenue The sheriff was looking for me too Left that town with all my markers coming due I'm trying to get to Mignana one day at a time Some days it gets rougher Think I want to blow my mind I can see the lights of might have been on Rumination Road, still east of Manana. Can't let go, my heavy load. It's clear that I am heading right down Nowhere Boulevard. Can't circle back to might have been town. Burning the bridges behind me, convincing myself I was free. She's the only girl. Trying to get to Manana one day at a time. Some days it gets rougher. Think I wanna blow my mind. I can see the lights of might have been on Rumination Road, still east of Manana. Can't let go my heavy load. Still east of Manana. Can't let go my heavy load. Still east of Manana. Can't let go. Yeah. yeah. I remember that you're, one. Uh, Great song, Gus. You're driving around nice. Hollywood, too. Your, um, <laughs> your guitar seems just right on the edge of maybe distorting, or it oh, sounds yeah, like it there's really a loose close. like a loose <laughs> plug in there somewhere yeah, or something. Actually, just a little hint like, of... It's called driving it. I was, I was putting it oh, yeah, okay. it's like natural. It sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little Overdriving. Edge, yeah. It was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounded I, I, nice, Gus. 
Yeah, some good. It remind me of that, that like that. What was his name? Scotty, whatever that played with Elvis. Like how that. Scotty like, Moore. That, Scotty Moore. It, that kind of like feel to it. That was cool. Put a little chicka boom. Yeah, it sounded <laughs> like you were kind of whispering, but you could hear every word. Yeah. And um, I, it was just a really nice song. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Yeah, oh, for two. Sound, your sound is really good. It's like an FM radio station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or like AM, it sounded, it sounded nice, I liked it. It's, yeah, exactly, like Wolfman Jack, like that kind of thing. <laughs> Actually, which Gus, you're like literally probably born to like play that role, I'd have to say, also. Going into our third hour of Gus Johnson songs, we're going to start off with... <laughs> <laughs> Do your play love, Lana. Lana. <laughs> Fritjof, it's your turn, how are you right. tonight? He's so, he looks it's like he's in the bottom of a dungeon. Started... <laughs> you look like yeah, you're at the bottom of a dungeon. Yeah, did you not pay I, your power I, bill? Or... It's always so dark uh, for you, but yeah. No, it feels good. I don't know. This is I like my little cave that I feel like awesome and safe and at home in. I, I think we need to chip in and buy you one of those time. light ring lights. I, no, I would never get used. I'm sorry to say, because, like, I have to already candle? like at work watch. I watch Zoom meetings all the time, and so like for music, I would prefer it not to look like a work meeting that are horrible ah, and boring. Just a little teeny spotlight, just, yeah. just gently glowing around your face area, <laughs> like a little red it's dot. <laughs> laser pointer see, i do well okay if you guys if you i do have one thing you got a candle oh yeah, what do you say about oh that? i like it the blue dungeon okay okay right. i like that much better yeah we can okay. see you, there you go. <laughs> barely you're right at the yeah. edge of the screen but you're you're kind of there yeah he's yeah. set in some porn there. movie all right <laughs> that's a lot of echo there uh, yes, it is. So, right. one of you. And now the Blue Frito Band. Oh, that is exactly perfectly right. Then I gave my work to devour You gave me dirty little looks and lies When I said I walked ten miles in the branch Well, you gave me a misanthropic vibe and we turned out the lights in our days all night. <laughs> Then I gave those red flowers You gave me a little bit of advice When I sang a song that I stole from a little old bird Thanks, man. 
smile And turned on lights and I laid all night I Psychedelic. As always, as always. I was expecting someone to come over the loudspeaker and say, do not eat the blue acid. We repeat. <laughs> so so what instruments are you using there? Um just the guitar with the Wawa. It's it's like amp, it's uh I threw a little uh four watt box and then mic'd up in the corner and then just vocals and a drum beat. 
that funky drummer, the James Brown thing, which it's, I can never, I'm just like always like, I can't think of anything better to play with, like practice, <laughs> like my vocals with, like the getting it like locked in, <laughs> then that beat is like perfect one, you know? I like yeah. the groove a lot. Uh, yeah. The groove is great. Yeah. It was a little tricky to hear the lyrics though. I missed probably half of them. Uh, there's something about the um, vocal style, like the consonants don't stand out enough. And so, I don't know, some people like to sing that way and it's their kind of their intention. But if you will listen to the video, you'll hear what I'm saying. It's a little, for me, it was hard to, it's hard to get most of the lyrics. I was just grooving with the vibe and the That tone was part of the, the ambiance feel. to me. Okay. I, I really dug yeah, it. Like, I, I, I like I'd like to know what the lyrics were, but I really dug it. Cool. I, Thanks, I think Bill. you should yeah, say. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, like I think about all so many songs I really love. Like I have no idea what the lyrics are in those songs <laughs> whatsoever until I yeah. like read them. But I still love that song right. so much. But Remember, it, you know, so I yeah. Most I feel people feel the that. same way, dude. Most people feel the same way. I can't tell you how many people have come up to me and said, you know, I, I don't even listen to lyrics. And I just go, you know what? Fuck you. No, I just go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, I appreciate, like, really good lyrics a lot. And I really work on the lyrics so much for them to, like, have meaning and, like, meter and, like, fall in there exactly right. Like, I, but ultimately, like, my experience of, like, hearing a song is just, like, a feeling and then I can always yep. like see the lyrics. Yeah, I like feel them more in some ways, yep. if that makes sense. Most, yeah, most I love people in the lyrics too, and they're real important to me. On the other hand, there's a lot of my favorite songs have yeah. really not much as far as lyrics. Right, I right. still love the song, yeah. and so it's you know. <laughs> well, that's great because one of my songs will fit you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got one more for really us great uh, yeah i really enjoyed that uh, good job was, got one I more was... i guess can you hear us still muted good job. Oh, shit. He, he's still muted he took the blue acid <laughs> yeah one more one more one more we can't. No, hear I'm you. good. Those are that was two songs okay, actually, so I'm good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> part one and part B. <laughs> the dance mix yeah, is in there. A too. side and the B side. Okay, all right. Oh. Well, bravo. Well, this among yourselves. It's going to take me just a second here. <laughs> is it, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to this twelve string tonight. I'm nice. Is you know, I got a free guitar over the weekend. I went to my friend's birthday party. I didn't even know it was his birthday. He just invited me over for a barbecue. And I got the present. He said, hey, somebody gave me a guitar. I don't play. You do here. And he gave me a Yamaha guitar. It's beautiful. How oh, sweet. I got to put strings on it. Excellent. Yeah. I'll put some strings on it and hopefully play uh, the next time we meet. Hey, has everybody entered the uh, Tiny Desk concert? It's real easy. Just sit at a desk and play a song, make a video, and send it to NPR. It's really super easy. There's a little questionnaire and you're in. No chance of winning, probably, but it's fun. <laughs> you always say that. There's a chance to win? What are you... <laughs> it's tiny. It's tiny. It's tiny. You see, you... you, you... You come over to my house the day an old white guy wins that contest. <laughs> you come over to my house and we'll have a, we'll, I'll give you a, Hey, a we're, we're in our prime, man. We'll drink some Dylan's whiskey and we'll... <laughs> All right, who's... Okay. Is that coming through okay? It sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So I... I uh, I'm going to... I, I kind of titled my, my set tonight uh songs i don't like these are songs that i've written that i just i'm not comfortable with the lyrics aren't quite right or it just i find them boring so i'm going to share them with you and <laughs> see how it goes Let's this one <laughs> good good album concept too <laughs> 
so the first first zoom meeting we we had was when was that like march i think uh, and bill dawson uh, was the host and it was his his baptism to sosa in a sense because that was his first time of meeting with any of us and uh, and, and so I, I had taken notes that evening because I'm president of SOSA. And uh, I, uh, one of those, I made a list of everybody who attended. And I was frustrated afterwards because I was trying to write a song for that songwriting class. And uh, I was just messing around with stuff and I started doing this. I looked down on my page and I saw Bill Dawson's name. His name was Dawson. He rode a white horse, and his picture was hanging on my wall, on my wall. The Dawson rode a white horse on my wall. The horse had a tail, and you could see he was male. The Dawson dressed in brown, gabardine, gabardine. Dawson wore in gabardine, gabardine. Two-dimensional Dawson. Two-dimensional Dawson His horse was male He lived in a picture Dawson wore gabardine Gabardine This was written as a assignment for my songwriting class and it was supposed to be write a bad song But I really like it Not much more is known about Dawson. He lived in the picture on my wall, on my wall, on my wall. He rode a white horse, he wore gabardine. He was in the picture on his horse, wearing his gabardine, gabardine. Two-dimensional Dawson, two-dimensional Dawson. His horse was male, they lived in the picture. Dawson wore gabardine, gabardine. Dawson wore gabardine, gabardine. Dawson wore gabardine, gabardine, gabardine. Aberdeen. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, obviously, what? did take the blue oh, acid. No. <laughs> wait, what was he wearing? Wait, wait a second. What was he wearing? <laughs> Gabardine. <laughs> well, that was that's dude. That sucked, and that was awesome. I don't even know what Gabardine is. You nailed the assignment. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know. Thank Steve you. Does, thank you. Also, in, like, in some ways, the song's actually nice. <laughs> You know, yeah. and like those could just see, be like that's what I'm saying, lyrics, right? Yeah. You right? know, and we like, learned in a songwriting workshop not too long ago that it's really not a matter of good or bad; yeah. it's what it does what for it me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Does it work? I thought it worked. It was fun. It was it's fun. like an exercise, but like I, to go I wondered back why to but, Gene's thing about Paul McCartney, though. Like you know, like say, like he said, I read this interview with him, and he was like all these famous songs that we heard a million times and the original lyrics were like scrambled eggs i like scrambled eggs or something oh, yeah, you know yeah. and it's like that was his placeholder lyrics for yesterday yep. scrambled oh, eggs yeah. oh my mm. darling how i love your legs i swear to god that was <laughs> i told you man the guy's an airhead <laughs> <laughs> is that why bill d only has it bill d not bill dawson That's right. yeah all right yeah. mute up I actually wrote this for a wedding. Two people from different 
lands to ships on different seas. Their hearts have found a common ground, now they beat in harmony. Their marriage vows they have spoken, their promises have been made. So as grows the tree of life, we know like the words of the poet teach. The ripest fruit hangs where not one, but only two can reach. For as different as these people are, and the different things we know, love is the mortar of their bond together their love will grow so as grows the tree of life we know like the words of the poet teach the ripest fruit hangs where not one but only two can reach the ripest fruit where not one but only two can reach there you go <laughs> thank you very nice, nice. Wedding song. that's a perfect ready song I was Really, really impressed. <laughs> Amazing. Writing a, <laughs> too. you know what would be yeah. a great assignment would be to write a bad wedding song, like you know, like a song just called "Are You Sure She's the One?" or, or like, <laughs> or like think it over. <laughs> Are you only here for the cake? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm here for, the cake. for a white wedding. White wedding. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> I attended a wedding where the groom was half of a twin, and people, a lot of people said, are you sure you got the right one? Oh, you're sure you got the right one. There you go. Oh, boy. Hey, thanks. Uh, Bob Crawley, how are you tonight? Doing fine, Steve. Can you hear me? Can yes, hear me? we can hear you. It's like uh, the silken tones of Bob Crowley. Is it, is it a squeaking? <laughs> this, this isn't no, you sound fine. Yeah, just play your song. <laughs> <laughs> and get your face out. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me make sure my things are on. I've had a really busy life lately. Uh, <laughs> a lot of work and things like that on the land, and um, went camping for a week. And promised myself I'd, I'd put something together for today. And then uh, started the song today, and I, I didn't finish it, but I got it pretty much there. Yeah. I then got a couple of calls from my brothers back east, and one of our cousins is in trouble. So the uh, anyway. The, uh, that's like real life. In um, today's program, you know, I'm going to challenge the panel here to uh, fix the sound of Bob Crowley, right? This is a kind of a, an exercise anytime I come on. I, first of all, I need my headphones. I can't hear myself. Can I still hear you guys, though? Oh, no, you guys are all muted, right? Um, okay. <laughs> um, okay, go for it. Can you hear anyway, us? Anyway, um, I'm yeah, going to ask go Gus. It, I'm going to ask Gus. I'm going to clue into Gus uh, is a kind of a mentor to me sometimes um, as I try a first here on um, it's the first time the song's ever been recorded uh, or, or put before an audience because it was just written today um, and because Gus has a relationship with the title of this song and also I believe it'll be the first um, Sosa Zoom um, song with accordion Is there some way we can mute him? <laughs> Save that comment. Do, 
Just kidding. I love accordions. Okay, Myron and Florin here. <laughs> and I haven't picked up this accordion in a long time too. I don't know why I did it today. Only because uh, there's a particular type of uh, Irish uh, Celtic song called Chano singing. It's usually a cappella, and it's it's very drone-like. A lot of minor chords. Can, Wonderful can you singer. hold it up so we can singer. see it? Can we mm -hmm. hold it up so we can see the accordion just for a second? Oh, you know what I'll do? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's, wow. like, like a, that's like a mini accordion. Kind a little of. mini accordion. It's a hey, bass accordion, it, actually, yeah. It's a bass accordion. Bob, can you Italy. just like play and sing just for a little snippet? Because it sounds like you're a little low, maybe. Yeah, you know, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to have to do that. And this might not even work at all, but. Can you hear the accordion? Yeah. 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 Uh, you can turn the accordion volume it's up accordion. a little. What's that, uh, Steve? If you got a microphone on the accordion, it'd be... No, no, I oh. don't. Um, and this accordion is very, very loud. Um, so I think, I think it's going to um, be all right. I've tried to turn this up, the, uh, yeah, the microphone up. In the, in Go the, for it. The accordion is a little bit removed, but um, the lyrics are what count. So, um, okay, well, Hell yeah. Try them both together <laughs> yeah. for a second. So I'm going to try to play this. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear the lyrics? Yeah. If, in fact, the accordion is playing. Yeah, the it sounds good. The accordion is really low. What's that? The accordion's low, but it does. It's audible and. Oh, I can oh, hear that's everything. better. That's better. Yeah. It's better because I will turn it up. I've been playing it pretty soft. All right, and, go. Okay. Okay, and um, uh, this song uh, because I, I wanted to put it together really quickly uh, contains uh, so the names of some of my um, Celtic ancestors in Ireland and uh, grandparents and things like that. Also, uh, the na title of this song is uh, "Spike the Wonder Dog." I know it's a one of many Spike the Wonder Dog records. And um, yeah, forgive me, but uh, I really wanted to do this. Uh, it's the only way I was able to put anything together. Mm -hmm. Free chapel like this. After Saturday Mass, Sunday Mass, the parish priest pulled Jimmy Kane aside and told him that the next noonday the Archbishop would arrive. His host and escort would be Jim's landlord, a wretched cuss was he. He sent orders for Jim to serve up a meal of the finest local cuisine. And the finest local poaching. The big shots were on a shoot to kill any wild creature they could find, but would prefer a local swine, sheep, or fattened cow on which to dine. Jim cried to the priest, but father, I've got nothing for their plate. My wife and kids have crumbs to eat, and this request is much too late. The priest possibly sympathized, but valued his own position. Said, Jim, you must produce the meal or face a great proposition. The landlord would evict you to the city, you'd all go down and your children would be begging on the streets of Dublin town. Jim hastily called on his many friends, but all were much too poor. The better off had already fled to America's distant shore. No one could spare a bit of meat but offered prayer and kind words. Some provided turnips and such, and some tasty spices and herbs. Then Mick Mullumphy pulled Jimmy aside and proposed an alternate course. They'd cook up Jim's faithful dog named Spike, claim it was a delicious wild boar. Jimmy thought to take a punch at Mick, but he thought of the horror of this. 
but realized it might be the only way to get the family out of this fix. Yo! Jim announced to his wife and children the details of Pike, Spike's coming fate, and he promised they would see Spike again in doggy heaven. Spike would surely wait. Then he entrusted Spike to the care of his eldest son named Tim. And Tim promptly took Spike to the forest so no harm would come to him. And Tim pledged to Spike he would never, ever, ever, ever see him boiled or sauteed, braised or filled with the stuffing or slowly simmered. Well, they slept together in the forest that night, Tim and his best friend, Spike. Paw to paw as true comrades, fitfully through the night. When Tim awoke at the break of dawn, he arose quite cold and alone, for Spike had fled their shelter to hide in the mists of the dawn. We're almost halfway finished. At noon, Tim, dirge-like, filled with sorrow and dull, trudged slowly toward his father's home to accept the coming punishment, quite possibly bury his poor doggy's bones. When incredibly, he was startled and greeted by fiddles, laughter, dance and a barking dog almost there Mick Mullumphy pulled young Tim aside and shared with him the word that Spike returned only an hour ago with a hefty, rare, two-stone Irish widgeon bird. And this bird in the heavenly stroke of luck was revealed to be the Archbishop's all-time very favorite lunchtime meal. Mick seasoned and cooked the bird to perfection. The local fiddlers and pipers started up a session. Dan O'Brien passed around a jug of his famous post gene. And the Archbishop was even seen dancing a reel. The nasty landlord was praising Jimmy Kane, called him his most valuable tenant he had ever seen. A man who would always be welcome on his turf. And he, and he stroked Spike's neck as he reveled in the mirth of another day to remember in the village of Keelworth, County Cork, Ireland. And you know, the landlord never did notice Spike pissing on his boots. And that's all, folks. <laughs> right. I did it. You know, it was it ruinous or what? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Quite a story, Bob. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a one day so good. That was that, great. That that form, and that the form ending of, uh, was like quite a flourish. That was like, <laughs> yeah, that was really good. <laughs> the, um, um, how about the um, the sound on something like that? Really, critically speaking, the... Um, 
Uh, uh, actually, very good. Accordion was like no, just fine. Accordion was real. Was too low. It was too loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it was too okay. low. It was too I low. Know, I think it was about right. Uh, yeah, I balanced with your voice really good. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I got outvoted. Okay. Yeah, a range of opinions here. Yeah. Well, you know, you just take that information in. Everybody has their own experience, but you know. Um, I, yeah, I, yeah. The um, you know, it's um, I'm not a. Uh, I've never taken a lesson in my life on keys, so it, it's like it's all an adventure for me every time I play. Anyway, so. I, I always want to hear the vocal at the top of the pyramid, you know, and then um, instruments. Yeah, so that yeah, was good you know, for me. Um, and I knew I was taking a chance with this, so. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, down the line, it'll be a, a bit better. But I, you know, I've, I've never put in the uh, energy, sorry to say, to uh, to really um, understand, you know, how this works yet. You know? Hopefully I'll get I thought, I thought your accordion work was pretty good for, for the song. Yeah. I, that could be a that could be a, a direction for you. Well, I haven't played it in a long, long time, but but I, I really love the uh, uh, dirge like a uh, um, atmosphere yeah. that many accordions uh, are great for that mon for the drone the background drone yeah the drone That's in the, the background yeah. Yeah. yeah i love that drone just don't get drone. into the bagpipes for that do the or do the <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can see bob it's Spain. like totally worth exploring that sound because i mean i think actually it fits also the like the uh the kind of like flavor and feeling of your songs the storytelling bit you know yeah. and like so the accordion yeah. is actually just like such a good mix and, and like to match for that it's great tip your camera yeah, try one more but not tip, tip your camera again tip your camera What's again that? tip your yeah. camera again we your, see your, your face head. yeah your head's not in the picture at all tip it up a yeah, there you go yeah I'm... nice okay i don't know if i can really bob could you tip that back down <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> we can see your face <laughs> Oops. I'm joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the camera alone. You're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. The um. I'm gonna ask. Uh, well, Marjorie understands the blues, so that's good. And um, the, uh, this is an old time blues song. This is a song I wrote many, many years ago. I haven't played it in years and years and years. And I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's really an epic song. It really lasts way too long. But um, I ran into it today and I thought, you know, I got to pull this out just for a minute. Come on, it's Dylan Week. Play the whole thing. Uh, no, no, I can't do that. But um, you know what? Tell me if you can hear the piano because it might not be plugged in. <laughs> very weak, very low. It's not plugged in. Very weak. Sure. Very, very weak. Yeah. Barely here. Weird noises? Yeah, we got um, a, a lot oh, of it's static now. We're not really hearing the piano much yet, but you haven't played it much. So. Now the static is decreasing. Yeah. Uh, the mysteries of the sound. It's, that sounds like the beginning of the outer limits. Remember when they yes, would yes. they would say, do, do not do, attempt do. to control your TVs. <laughs> we are in control. <laughs> yeah. Well, the hissing is gone. Yeah. But is also well, the piano. A little, I hear it high pitched something. Now there's nothing. Oh, I hear it. I got no piano, no I nothing. No piano, I yeah, no piano, Bob. No piano, no voice, voice, no nothing. We got nothing, Bob. We got nothing. For me. <laughs> Oh, I pitch sound. No, nothing. There we go. Nothing. No. No. Do this one on the accordion, dude. <laughs> We're fine hear some... on the accordion. Are you using a different mic? Let's hear some blues accordion.
Now it's really bad. Now it's really noisy. Really, really noisy. Thank you. Something is, some gain or some overdrive or something is going on there. Your input is in the output or something like that. Yeah, something. Something's going on. Bob, can you hear us? Can you hear us talk? <laughs> I love this part. <laughs> it's really suspenseful, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, it's okay, very a little, soft. Just a little. We can barely hear you. Uh, we could turn our volume up a little bit. That's audible. I mean, it's that's super okay. low. Bob, it might actually be coming through your other microphone. You, like, how do you have it set up on your system? Do you have two mics? Turn up your output gain. I think Bob's muted. That mic's something. not on. That mic is like totally not working. Yeah, that work. Yeah, that mic's not on. You're not muted, but that vocal mic ain't working. It used to you got to switch the. It's on your system, not on the Zoom thing. You need to find some random good. eight year old to help you out with this. <laughs> okay. Bob, it's probably if you're whatever you're using for a mixer, it's like in it's there. It's a, you're on the wrong mic, I think. Could be. There you go. You Can were you there hear me, guys? Yes. A little bit. It's low. Yeah. Pick up your volume on the Presonus. Turn the output need, up. Do I need need the uh, the volume up? Yes, on the Presonus. Like up. way up. Is that any better? Well, now you're nice. That's way better. Did you turn off? Did you use a different mic for the accordion song? No, he didn't. He moved it over. No, I was playing through that mic too. Through that mic. I just turned the main it's up the same too. Same mic now. Yeah. Let's can you hear me now? Oh yeah, you're loud yeah. and clear. Yeah. Maybe you can hear the Play piano. Play piano. Yet. It's too much. Yeah, piano up a little. That's all right. That's all right. I, you know, it's got way too much reverb, though, so I can't really do this song. Oh, yeah. come on. Reverb is the best thing ever, Bob. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. But... <laughs> I like reverb, too. I got a few songs. I got a few songs that sound like I'm in the bottom of a well. No, no, this is really weird. This is something that never happened with this piano. So I, I gotta... Turn it off and back on, Bob. Yeah. Turn the piano off. Good idea. Have you tried turning it off and then turning it on again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can that hear that fine. Good. Yeah. Okay. Is that better? Sing yes. a little bit. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Um, this is yeah, a, this is a song um, I wrote, and it's it's kind of um, it's a uh, what would what would they use the term now? It's a it's a it's um, taking other people's cultural space to a certain extent. It's um, making fun of people with disabilities. It's not really. It's not really. It's a. Uh, um, it's kind of misogynistic in a way, I suppose. So sorry, Marjorie, but um, it's um, you know it's the blues. You know, and the blues has a long, long history of like being kind of a, uh, you know, badass and stuff like that. So uh, this song is uh, was written during a period where I spent about ten years. Uh, working on Skid Row down in Los Angeles, and uh, this is one half of that song. And um, the um, I'll I'll note that my wife's name is Susan too. My name, of course, is uh, Bob. Um, can you hear me from out there? Yes, we've got you loud and clear. Go for it. Yeah. Stop fiddling.
They call him Gimp Leg. Gimp Leg Bob wears a wooden leg. Says he got it in the war. Hops around the city like an old bullfrog. That Gimp Leg Bob. Some nights he camps out near the five freeway, but he hangs around a nickel most every day. All the folks around here, they like that gimp leg bob. A little hustle here, some panhandling there. Sell a little cocaine down in Pershing Square. If you need a favor, Bob's the man for you. And Bob's a ladies man, that much is true. And when he gets to talking, there ain't nothing they won't do. Yeah, he's still a player, that old gimp leg Bob. You got a woman named a big leg Sue. She runs hot and cold, and that's fine for him too. Yeah, he likes her. He likes those big leg gals. Yeah, she got big legs, they're big and strong, like to crush a man to death if he hangs around too long. But lots of the fellas down here, they're like the big leg girls. Now there's a preacher, and he's dressed just right, looking for an, some action on a Saturday night. He's sitting at the King Eddie Bar, sees the girls as they walk by. That's all you're getting tonight. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. You know, you know, Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're, we're going to leave us at the titty bar. Is that what, what's happening here? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, you can't do that. You got to at least. Hotels and, and little uh, dive bars of Skid Row. Oh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> My office actually was in this, uh, in this uh, place uh, called the... Uh, Huntington Hotel, which was recently a big Netflix hit or something like that, because some some uh, woman died there, and there were all these uh, uh, this huge uh, online community, you know, like uh, couldn't accept what the police was telling were telling them about her death, and um, it just became a real instant net, uh, Netflix hit. Uh, this was a couple of months ago, but my office was there, you know, so I knew that hotel really really well. Hmm. And it was a scary place, but uh, anyhow. Yeah, thank you for your patience, you guys. Always appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Sounded good. Nice yeah, work. All right, so. Bob. Next time. Anybody else want to do another one? I could do one if you want to. I would love to hear. Up. I would love to hear it. Okay. I think we all would, yeah. Just give me one sec. I'm going to do one of the ones that I was sounded terrible last time. not going to do the Larry song. I'm going to hold off on that one. That's the beast. We'll That's the that 24 one verse one. That will do yeah. that one again. I'm going to do that one again, but just not today. Uh, and Bill, like, also, like, Bill maybe found a spot to, like, and he's on the time schedule thing, so if he had another one. I, I do have also, one in my can. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Cool. Go for it. I'll, I got to set up here. You need to verify, Bill, that, that, that you're actually working on a movie set by proving that that pizza was for free. Um, that was called our second meal, the required to feed us every <laughs> six hours. And we have been here since, well, I came to work at five, but I got up at four. Do you eat a lot anyway, of pizza? You know, I, I usually turn it down, but I was starving. Anyway, I got this little blues song on ukulele that I think I could pull off. I can only remember two verses, but that's probably enough. You can hear me? Yep. Thumbs up? Okay.
will know where to go. Climbed in the back seat, daddy's car. That's when it went just a little bit too far. That car started rocking. Radio was on. That's a good one. That sounds cool. It's so cool. It's another verse, but I can't remember it. Oh, okay, okay. I loved it. Is there another verse to that? I could hear a nice... There is, but it would would be just a little bit too far. I I could hear a nice walking bass line in that. Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm right. With the next verse, like... It's so cool to hear this from a van in, in Santa I was just Monica. Gonna ask, I mean, just like... Would the next verse like come out of that breakdown or was it like before it? No, no. The, the, the next verse comes after the breakdown and there's a little bit of a the first verse has a chorus at the very end. Um, but, you know. That'll be nice. That's all I, think, I, that's like that's all that I can breakdown. remember. It seems like it's, it's all like written a... down. <laughs> All right, so we want to hear the whole thing with Splendor next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when, whenever we get to be, whenever we get to be all together in person, I'll play it a little less rushed on a tenor ukulele. You'll love it. Sweet. Nice. All right, thanks, Bill. Thank you. Carry it away, Gene. Uh, this is one I did uh, a couple weeks ago at Gus's open mic when the sound wasn't working out for me. I had some problems, but now it should be better. Share the chores when you are home I do them all when I'm alone I keep the home fires burning for you The sky is blue, the sky is gray The hours pass and pass away While my home fires burn for you I sweep the floors I sweep the blinds can't sweep your love off of my mind the things I lift to sweep behind to keep the home fires burn for you I wash the dishes, 
row after row I put them back where they go The things I wash you'll never know To keep the home fires burning for you When you come in out from the road Open the door, set down your Find the home fires burning for you. You'll find the home fires burning for you. And the crowd goes. Thank you guys. Nice crowd tune. goes wild. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, really good. That was a good sound, Gene. So yeah, it did come through well. Nice sound. Yeah, that was good. Nice sound. Nice yeah, I just had too much gain last time, so I've got to figure it out now. Too much fun. There. Anybody else have any others? How about you, Gus? I got another one here. All righty. Uh, this uh, we got the blues thing going on and. That uh, caused me to say, you know, I haven't been around this uh, this tune. I didn't know you didn't mean it when you said I love you. I didn't know you didn't mean it when you said you'll be true. I didn't know you didn't mean it when you asked me for more. I didn't know you didn't mean Till you kick me out your door. I'm not gonna let your line stop me from opening my heart to someone new. Looking for someone who means what they say. Someone who's not like you. I asked myself why you didn't mean it. Was there someone fresh and new? I asked myself why you didn't mean it. Did your pain? Come back to you. I did ask myself what I do different to avoid this hurt and pain. I didn't know and I knew I'd be stronger if I opened my heart again. Stop me from opening my heart to someone new. Looking for someone who means what they say. Someone who's not like you.
I didn't care if you really meant it. When you came crawling back, I didn't care if you really meant it or if it just was another attack. I didn't care if you really meant it. Cause it was too late for you I'd gone on to meet someone Who loved me through and through Ah, your line ain't gonna stop me From opening my heart to someone new Looking for someone who means what they say Someone who's not like you There you go. Yeah. That's a good one, Gus. Nice. Kind of good, guys. Nice work. Yeah, you're so good at the piano, too. Man. I know. Fun. That's like your Great wheelhouse, voice. like right there in that spot. So good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Marjorie, it looks like you're <laughs> queued up for another one. Yeah. If everybody's going to do the blues, <laughs> I'll Go do another it. blues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's called the Cold Hand Blues. Yeah, 
shiver and peep, peep, peep. Gloves and go and read the news. There are some good things Like I don't need ice in my dreams To live it with the cough and blues But when I get through living Then I could pass through hell and politics and COVID and all that sorts of stuff, you know. Just doesn't put you in the right mood. Hey, right. Marjorie! All right. <laughs> Why so blue, Marjorie? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song. Thank you. Kind of good. Thank you. I was playing along with you. Oh, good. <laughs> you got one, Steve? I, I can try. Uh, it's, it's one you've heard before, but I'll do it. You bet. Uh. Oh man, look at those gates. That's a, so cool. That's the second time he's been to that place. He's been there twice already. He goes there and then he picks someone up and he's going back and forth. Gates. That's a great uh, great video for everybody's soundtrack today. Right, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. I found a letter you had written buried in the bottom of a box mixed with some old photos and a hand Drugs. The letter was written at a time. Bill's not muted. Okay. There he is. Okay.
Let me try that again. Gus, you're not. These things don't last There's a picture of you On my birthday When you gathered those stones At Mill Falls You gave them to me As a present With your letters I kept them all Old photos Old letters Old memories Some sunshine Some sorrow Some pain Photos and old letters bring back memories. Some sunshine, some clouds, and some rain. You traveled east, but I stayed west, and sometimes I feel regret. I remember you were crying. Sorry I made you upset Well, I wonder where you are now Has your life turned out as you'd hope? Do you think of me occasionally? Have you saved any letters I wrote? Old photos, old letters, old memories Some joy, some sorrow, some pain And old letters bring back memories Some sunshine, some clouds, and some rain Some sunshine, some clouds, and some rain blues I really yeah, like I that. it sounded great really before like i remember it before and i liked yeah. it before then too thank you yeah. i think gus you i think you could work up a keyboard part to fit that perfectly for sure i'll yeah. take a look at actually that. you know steve it's so interesting it's like because just because i think like you're such a like nice kind of person and funny and everything is that like even like if i didn't listen to the actual lyrics if i didn't speak english i would think that that was like a love song you know but it's just like this like melancholy song lyrically about like old you know reminiscing about like an old breakup it's so it's just interesting that dichotomy in there is like i think it's kind of cool all right i'll agree with you <laughs> <laughs> the best love songs are bittersweet Bittersweet love songs are the best ones because that's life, right? <laughs> it's all sweetness. Somebody's lying. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's got a good beat. It's got a good beat. It's got a nice. I can dance to it. So I'd give it an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else got one? Kenny's all keyed up. Hey. Kenny, all right. Sweet. Mute, Bob, mute. favorite songs of yours kenny i love and i always love your stuff you know that but like that one that was like so good that was really good all right thanks kenny anybody else want to know another one yeah i i could do one all right cool. i'd love to but as you can see i'm working <laughs> no oh, yeah. worries, no worries. That's cool. It's so cool. <laughs> okay, is this job going? Yeah. Yeah. Feels like I'm wa watching a there Russian go. uh, go. dash cam, you know? You expect, you expect a car to go by on two wheels sideways yeah. any minute. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like I, I went, you're gonna see a cop and a dude in a like A-frame T-shirt running since, the screen right now. Since the Russians got video cameras, man, the internet is just very, very it's interesting. <laughs> this one where the guy's driving along and you just see car after car <laughs> parked beside him, snow everywhere, and then all of a sudden there's a car right in the slot upside down, and then car after car after car, <laughs> just completely upside down in the spot. Like in the slot, you know, it's like Russia. All right, sorry. Muting now. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just keep up with the blues thing. And, like, because also I, it's interesting to me is how right, like, being a parent is a subject for the blues, actually. So, anyway, like, here we go. I'm gonna okay. Sorry, I just got that. That got that was crazy loud on the guitar, yeah. <laughs> 
Is that better? Is that like more reasonable? Okay. It's six in the morning. Child, I'm calling your name. simple and, and just really powerful yeah that, that really suited the lyrics a nice nice match thank you are you gonna so, bob or are you gonna play another one you want another bob anybody else let me plug something uh that's going on in ashland okay okay this weekend it's the world rogue world music festival so you can go rogue, rogue, rogue world music.com easy for me to say i'm totally confused about it i guess uh, a lot of it's streaming mostly tomorrow night uh and there's a walk that you can do downtown or by north mountain there's maps for it um but anyway um but it's mostly March. virtual mostly virtual you know a lot of it is, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, I don't understand. They says there's six really interesting groups playing at the central stage. They don't say where the cent, and that's the streaming part. They've done it at the band shell in years past, right? But and I'm I, wondering if it's there. Maybe, maybe they will. It's hard to, yeah. It's, um, it's weird now. You never know. We're in the in between. So they might yeah. have an actual venue or they might do it indoors somewhere. So, all right, cool. Just good to know it's out there. Yeah, at least search you world can music. stream it, you know. I'm sure that's searchable. Saturday. Yeah, world, rogue world music dot com. Okay. Get you there. All right, um, rogue world music. And it gives some in, 
information. The <coughs> problem is there's no times, there's no uh, places. So maybe it's all streaming, but then they have this music block. So who knows? All right. All and right. a map for them. You know. all right. I'll so, try to decipher it. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So anything else? My earbuds are about ready to die, so um, I may sign out. But uh, anybody else has anything? We're all good. Special thanks right. to Bill for phoning it in from L.A. That was, yeah. that added a real, yeah, that great. real interesting tweak to tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those, those gated places you kept going, very cool. Oh, he flips it around, all right. Got movie stars in the back, whatever, fine, whatever. But, uh, a lot of the, the road work was on when uh, Free, Chow, Free Chow's last song was playing, too, and it seemed like a nice like video uh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Video, it just fit in very, very well, you know, the, when the kind of when, lonely when the, streets of L.A., you know. So. Yeah. Sometimes the video okay, gods... I can't hear things, so... Sometimes the video gods are with you, and they just work, you know. <laughs> if you happen to watch... It's funny, think, actually. Yeah, because I used to, like, run around there all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> just, you know, it's just, funny just, how that matched together. Just shoot some random video for five minutes and sync it up with one of your songs and then just watch it. And every once in a while, just the coolest things happen. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Even in the uh, in the uh, Across the Universe thing, I only shot like a little bit less than three minutes of, of footage of the fluff balls. So I went home and just chopped up, a, a just had it repeat. So it goes to a certain point and then it syncs back up and repeats again for the rest of the time. And it happens just when I say... Jai Guru Om, and just when I say Om, <laughs> the, 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 there's a tree, and then there's another, it comes to the same scene, but it goes, brrr. like it just does a little vibration, just as I'm singing the tone Om, yeah. it goes, this, it's like the world goes, <laughs> just vibrates and then clarifies, it's just like, I couldn't have timed it perfectly, I didn't, didn't know, totally unintentional. Uh, that's great. Stuff Douglas, like that. have you ever seen the movie Paris, Texas? Yes. Oh man. Yeah, isn't that, that great? Uh, it, it, yeah. That, Killer uh, soundtrack. Oh, uh, Ry Cooter, uh, man. Ry Cooter. Oh, it's that's so what good. I his fan and uh, that oh, oh, oh. Oh, that little slide uh, you know, uh, always in there. It's so nice. Yeah, yeah. But it is just like seeing a road like undulate, kind of like that. You know, it's yeah. just like kind of an emotional image, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and in Texas, actually, because I used to live there, uh, there's a lot of lonely roads with the uh, telephone poles on each t side, uh -huh. and the heat makes those, you know, like those lakes that aren't really lakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean, but you don't see it much I know here, exactly but... what you mean. For yeah. Sure. It's interesting. Yeah, it looks like there's Could water like there, silver water. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a mirage. Yeah. Yeah. There was something watery about your tune, and that would have been a good. It's like there's two kinds of road music to me. There's like songs like your blues song, Christoph, that really, or the Ry Cooter, long droney notes, you know, that smooth kind of liquid sound. Yeah. And then there's, you know, like the kind of, you know, rock and beat is great yeah. for the road too. But also, yeah. Landscapey sounds are also really good for the road. They're both yeah. Yeah, both really good. That was uh, obviously one of the landscapier ones. Yeah. And All I right, guys. Like interesting how the like visual can go in. Like I have like the thing that to me is like the coolest thing. Like if I could ever like have a time machine and go it would be to go see the Velvet Underground play at the factory with Andy <laughs> Warhol like um, throwing film up there. But like if you watch those things, it's the most amazing. And some they seem sort of like they're coming out of like diff from different spaces. But sometimes they just like the way they sync up is so it's just like the most perfect, beautiful, amazing thing. Cool. Oh. All right, guys, I got to right, roll. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, you. Steve. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks, Thank Steve. you so much. Looking forward to checking out the video, and we'll see you all in a couple weeks. Gus, you doing one in a couple weeks? Yeah. The chicken fried eggs rules. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll see you soon. Good night. Okay.